Good morning and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and Friends. The reason I said good morning is, is because it's morning right now and I've got a coffee. Ugh. So it's been Christmas. By the way, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and all that bullshit. And we've just had Christmas dinner, haven't we? Now, this is Boxing Day. Everyone has had a shitload of washing up to do, aren't they? And I mean, 15 pans, 17 plates. The list is fucking endless. So on Boxing Day morning, all you want is something simple, don't you? You don't want no washing up. So this is what I am going to attempt. And I mean attempt. I'm going to attempt a breakfast in a pan. One pan for Boxing Day because I'm a lazy bastard. So the first thing we're going to put in is our sausages. Now, I've split them down the middle so they cook quicker. Also, they cook crispier. And you didn't need to see me do that because you all know how to cook a, uh, a cotter sausage. Listen, I'm still rough from the night before here. But hey, this is going to be fucking epic. Now, I'll turn them sausage over. I'm going to add Three tomato, three tomatoes. Well, three half a tomato. And all I'm going to do with them is I'm just going to sprinkle with a bit of this Lowry's seasoned salt. Never tried it before. Let's see what happens there. Eh? Just on my tomatoes. There we go. And then mushrooms. This is just for me, you see. But although, you know, by the time I finish this, it'll probably feed about 10 of them. But I'm just a fat bastard. Right, then we're in. I'm just gonna add some black pepper now from the JB. Let them cook through a bit, and we'll be back. Well, then they're cooking nicely. I've just made a bit of room in the pan. Because I need, I need to get my bacon in. And try not to put your hands in a boiling fucking pan of fat. Which I nearly did again. Let's just cover them up. Let's make some room. All this stuff is nearly cooked. Get these crisps up now. If I remember how to speak crisps, crisps up. Yeah, well, you heard a bit of a noise then, I actually uh, wiped my finger on my fucking microphone like a dickhead. Well, we're ready for our last ingredient. And what's a breakfast without egg? So, I popped it. You bastard, it's popped. Probably seared it with fucking twatting knife. Second one hasn't. So, we don't mind, do we? It's only going to get crushed up in our gob, aren't it? And flushed out the other fucking end. Right. Black pepper on our egg. Gonna find my lid. There it is right in front of it. Bang that on there. I'm gonna let that cook now for about five minutes. Well there it is. The one pan breakfast. On Boxing Day. Because I'm a lazy bastard. Now I've had that there for a few minutes to let it cool. I'm just going to let it cool a bit longer. I'm going to try and transfer it onto a plate. And we'll delve in for the taste test. Now, I don't know where to start with this. Now I cut these tomatoes and I put some of that Lowry's seasoned salt on, didn't I? Really nice. I can't explain the taste it gives. 
but it's really uh, kind of like a sweet flavour. Bit of mushroom. Self explanatory. Mushrooms are fucking mushroom, isn't it? Bit of smoked bacon. Go on, you piece of shit. Yeah. Smoked bacon's my, my favourite. I've got to say. Pork and leek sausage. Now, this is not the healthiest. Mm. But sure it doesn't. Sure it does taste good. Slightly overdone me egg a little bit. I can live with that. But the beauty of doing this as well is everything incorporates the taste of everything else. Just gives it that another element. Now I didn't put salt in it. Not much really salt or like that. Because of the bacon. Oh. You know what? That is mighty fucking fire! So, brothers and sisters, that was my one pan breakfast. Piss easy to do. All I've got to wash up now is a pan, one plate, a knife and a fucking fork. That is it. Now, I did enough there. That fed me, but... Any normal person that would do two of you with a bit of bread or what have you and a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a skinny latte whatever the fuck you drink. Also, I've been spending all fucking that video skipping around this fucking thing but I believe it's worth it. Some people are having trouble that can't hear me. That's two out of a fucking quite a lot. Now, I don't know if that's anything to do with my editing and the audio has to go on a different channel. Listen, I have not a fucking clue, right? Adam told me how to use this camera. He said, put it on autofocus, press the button, and just fucking go. And that's as far as my knowledge on this camera goes, right? But I'm gonna persevere. The more I use it, the better it'll become. Oh, I can't promise that, can I? But anyway, if you like that, press like, comment, share. <laughs> Oh, compliments to the chef on all your social media. And guess what? Hey, don't forget, subscribe and become a member of hashtag Team CTB. I've got to be careful how loud I shout because this picks up a fucking mouse farting from three fucking houses away. Yeah, and don't forget, I fucking love you. <laughs>